This is my studio. I live and work in southwest Colorado, and I'm surrounded by fields and my garden and uh, the mountains off to the west. The short walk that I make every day from my house to my studio often influences whatever I'm working on um, or beginning for the day. Um, I found that particularly true this past fall. It was exceptionally beautiful and it really um, influenced my work in a lot of uh, dramatic ways. I work in a variety of mediums, um, but primarily acrylic uh, with a lot of different um, drawing implements. Uh, I work in, on linen, on canvas, on panel, and paper. I love working on paper as well. Um, and I work primarily in acrylic paints these days, um, although I incorporate a lot of other uh, mixed mediums with that. And I also work intuitively, which is to say that I don't have sketches or preconceived notion in my head. I just uh, start making marks and start laying down um, paint and see where it takes me. I often begin my paintings by um, making line and mark on the surface. Um, it's my favorite part of the process. It's free and full of potential and possibility and it's not yet weighted down by the decision making that enters into it later on. Um, at this point there's just nothing to lose and I love the imperfect state of the work. I work back and forth into the piece um, with different drawing materials and um, and then sort of develop the line work with uh, gel mediums and pushing it around on the surface uh, until I get some interesting uh, marks and um, that's often how I start the work and then I um, move on to laying in passages of color. Um, building a little more composition, um, setting more of a tone for the piece. Painting for me um, is a very humbling experience. It has the highest highs and the lowest lows, uh, often in the span of five minutes time. And it's very physical. Um, I don't, sometimes look up and find that hours have gone by uh, in a blink of an eye. Um, so I often, people always roll their eyes at me when I tell them how hard, how much hard work it is or how exhausting it can be, but it demands a lot of you physically and emotionally. I'm often asked when um, I know a painting is finished and in thinking about it, it seems it's never finished. I don't think that you're ever truly satisfied with it. Um, it's never perfect. And at best you uh, let it go and just so you can get on to the next one. I've been particularly interested in um, the naturally abstract qualities in nature recently. I look at it and I see it so abstractly. It's reduced to its line and its color and its shape and, and I feel as if the, um, the brain is always working to make sense of what we see and to redefine it and to label it. Um, I think my desire um, is to create paintings that contain the qualities in nature, uh, the distilled light, the intense color, the scratching, rustling, blowing sounds, the constant movement. Um, but I hope to represent or reassemble the, all of those pieces 
um, in a puzzle that doesn't quite make sense. So that basically what happens is you are sort of forced to to look at it in a purely abstract manner and you no longer feel like you have to know exactly what it is that you that you know intrinsically or internally what it is and you can just appreciate the visual qualities um, for all their beauty.